No need for winter woolies when you can have these cruelty-free cozies. Ta Hello everyone and welcome back to Veggie Manifique, your go-to for holistic wellness and healthy vegan lifestyle. I'm Anne, your host, <laughs> health coach and performer, and today we are talking about vegan sweaters. No, you don't have to go cold this autumn and winter. You can stay nice and warm. And so can they, as they keep their coats and skin. So first off, let's talk about why buy vegan sweaters. Don't let them pull the wool over your eyes. Wool, cashmere, angora, duck down. These are very cruel industries. These animals grow their fur or feathers for their own use, just like bees make honey for their own purposes. So without going into too much detail, it is a terrible industry. And so I'm going to leave some links below so that you can choose to do further personal investigation if you'd like on what's happening in these industries. But I will say, it is a bit naive to think that sheep are just itching to get buzz cuts for us and that they're all happily grazing in Farmer Ben's pasture. So now that we're all effectively affected, let's talk about clothes. But first, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, just click the red button and you will be alerted of new information, especially if you click the notification bell. And if you're viewing this from the Veggie Manifique blog, Hi guys, if you'd like to follow the YouTube channel, you can click the little title on the YouTube video and that will redirect you to YouTube so that you can click the red button too and be a part of the wonderful subscriber group on YouTube. This truly helps my channel, so thank you guys so much in advance for being a part of the YouTube family. Cuddly, cozy, warm, and wonderful vegan sweaters, is it possible? In a word, yes! So there are several ways to get vegan sweaters and here are a few of my favorites. First off, you can thrift. Thrifting clothes is a wonderful way to be eco and to give items a second chance at life. Now definitely check the little tags so that you know what fabrics they're using in the garment. But you can find all sorts of jewels at thrift shops if you're willing to hunt around a little bit and be patient. It's not for everyone, but you can find some gems. So I got this sweater at a thrift shop about a month ago. I just needed a classic crew neck that I could use for layering. And I found this one that I think is originally from Hollister, which, you know, isn't like the ecoist, but when you get it at a thrift shop, you're giving a second lease on life to the item. And it's a great way to save money and shop more sustainably. So this, this top is cotton, polyester, and I think a little bit of lycra. So it's not like haute couture. However, it's a wonderful way to find previously loved eco vegan sweater so another way to get vegan sweaters is of course to support vegan businesses and even better if they are vegan and eco. So my favorite for so many things is Will's Vegan Store. Will's Vegan Store recently launched their luxuriously vegan knitwear line made in Italy. It's eco-friendly. They do so many different things to make sure that their company is so green. And they have a lot of different styles. They have chunky knits like this one. They also have stripes. They also have some solid color, some cowl neck. You can definitely check out the website. There's a lot of different styles that they have. And I have a few Will's vegan sweaters and I'd love to show them to you. So this is the man's gray chunky knit sweater. It's a size small. So it fits me great, you know, if you, like, I, I like the fit of it, it's, it's not too tight, it's not baggy. So this is one of my favorite vegan sweaters because it is 100% recycled cotton, it's super thick, so it's a, it's, it's chunky knit and it keeps me super warm. It's cozy, it's soft, it's amazing. Another one of Will's vegan sweaters is this fabulous one, which is more of like a feminine cut. It has a drop sleeve and it has cuffs at the wrists as well as on the sleeves. 
and on the bottom. And it's a super flattering fit. It's a wonderful beige color that goes with anything. And for all you closet minimalists out there, it certainly should go on the top 10 things that you would have in an autumn wardrobe because it is so neutral and it goes with so many different things. It feels really nice, it feels super quality. So made in Italy and it is 50% recycled cotton and 50% recycled a type of polyester. So recycled polyester is always a good thing. Recycled cotton is even better. And I think that this sweater is probably one of the best out there. And it feels super luxurious. You just wanna kinda like cozy up and take a little nap. And another sweater that I got from Wool's Vegan Sweaters is this fabulous one. You guys know that I am a sucker for stripes. I absolutely love stripes. I, I probably wear stripes more often than anyone you know. And what I love about this sweater is that the back stripes are thin and the front stripes are thick. It's just the coolest thing ever. I love this piece. It's a thinner knit, so this is more of a layering piece, and it is 50% recycled cotton and 50% recycled polyester. This is a size medium, by the way, just to give you an idea. So this is a size small, this striped one is a size medium. Highly recommend that you check out Will's Vegan Store. Another thing I want to say really quick about Wills is that they've expanded the shop recently so they also do vegan groceries if you'd like to order vegan products sent to your home. I just, I can't say enough about Will's Vegan Store. They really have met all these needs that we have as vegans to find attractive and comfortable shoes, knitwear, they also make bags and backpacks, and now they're shipping delightful vegan goods to your door. I just love it. So this is a vegan sweater from Free People. So Free People is not entirely vegan, although they do have a lot of vegan options. So I'm mentioning it because this sweater you've seen on Veggie Many Feet for the past, oh, I don't know, five years. And it has been such a winner. I love it. I love the, the raglan sleeves. I love how cozy it is. I love the cropping of it. It's one of my favorites. And you know, I mean, it's a poly blend. Let me just tell you what it is. So it's cotton, nylon, spandex. When you layer it up, it's super cozy. Now, I'm not sure Free People is the most sustainable brand ever, but when you make more sustainable choices at, say, places like Free People, at least you're not supporting animal cruelty. And you need to find something in your price point. So you can also find some more posher brands of vegan clothes. So for example, there's this brand called Noir. I don't know if it's Noir or Noise. And they have, you know, expensive but attractive looking sweaters. If you have the budget for that, definitely check those out. And anytime you can see in a shop if they're using like a recycled polyester or a recycled cotton or obviously organic, it's always an amazing choice for the environment and of course for the animals. So. Are wool and cashmere and other animals' furry coats warmer than, say, these vegan sweaters that are made of like cotton or poly? And the answer is yes. Yes, they're probably warmer. However, the cruelty leaves you feeling cold. And I just want to tread lightly on this planet and do, do the best that I can. So if that means layering up a little bit, I can do that. I can totally do that. So here are a couple tips to keep you cozy and warm. Layering. Not only cool, but also practical. And having super warm long sleeve undershirts, right? You can get some nice cotton ones. Sorry, I was trying to grab it. Always got my undershirt on. Also, scarves and hats are great ways to keep warm because obviously a lot of heat is lost through your head and also keeping your neck warm. It's a very French thing to do, but it's also very practical. And then also get a good coat. There are so many different vegan coats, and if you'd like to learn more about that, definitely let me know. I can make a video about that, but I have a wonderful one from Noise, which is a Canadian company, and one from Save the Duck, and these two are vegan coats. They're super warm, they're super insulated. I can wear them in a New Hampshire winter and be super cozy and super warm. You don't need duck down. You don't need fox fur. You don't. 
The beauty of this modern age is that you do have choices. So if you need to buy a new coat, definitely look into what the options are out there that are gonna keep you nice and warm and also, you know, you're gonna sleep well at night. So there you have it, the wonderful world of vegan knitwear. There's so many options out there. It's so exciting. It's advanced so much in the last few years. I hope you have found this content inspiring. If you did, I would be delighted if you would like and subscribe to this channel. And maybe if there's someone you know who's been feeling chilly, you can share this video with them and say, hey, look at all these amazing vegan sweaters. I'm always so happy when I get comments from you guys. So thank you guys so much in advance for leaving a little hello. And let's try to be better stewards toward planet Earth and all of its inhabitants because we can. Sending you all lots of love and the cozy feels of this wonderful season. And I will see you next time on Veggie Money Fig TV. Bye. Ta Another way to stay cozy. Drink matcha. Just don't spill it on your vegan sweaters. That would be tragic.